Hi, I'm Terry, and I am nuts about stamping. I'm really excited to be here today because the project idea that I have in mind to create and share with you uses some spring catalog products that are brand new. The catalog just went live this past week, and so now it's time to pull out some of these products and show them to you today. I wish I could show you every new product in the spring catalog, but just think about what that card would look like, so we won't. So let's get started. I have a piece of very vanilla cardstock that is 11 inches by four and a quarter. And then I took it over to my Simply Scored and scored it at the five and a half mark. So that will create the crease line for my card to make my card base. The next thing I'm going to do is introduce to you a brand new set of framelits. When I first saw these in the spring catalog, I thought, hmm, I'm not really sure I'm into paper dolls anymore. And then I got to thinking about what these really could be used for, and I love them. It's called Dress Up, and here's what they look like. You get three framelits in the pack, you get two dresses, and you get a dress stand. So I'm gonna start with the dress stand. I have a piece of Midnight Muse cardstock that I'm going to use to die cut the stand. You want your platform on the very top because our framelits are so thin. Then you want your cardstock, I'm sorry, you want your bottom standard cutting pad, your cardstock with the framelit, and then the top standard cutting pad, and then run it through. And that will die cut out the stand for the dress. Let me just pull it right off the cardstock there. There we go. All right, so I'm finished with that framelit. I've got my stand ready to go. The next thing I want to do is bring in the dress up framelits again and choose one of the dress styles. And I'm gonna choose this one just because I like it. And then I want to think about what do I want my dress to look like? What colors, what patterns? I think it would be really fun to use some designer series paper. So I'd like to introduce to you a new pack of designer series paper. It's called Print Poetry and it is awesome. It's got some beautiful colors in here and some really fun designs on the designer series paper that would be great for scrapbooking, cards, and punching. But as I was flipping through this pack, my eye fell on this design and I thought, oh, wouldn't that make a cute dress? So I'm going to use it. I'm going to lay my designer series paper on top of the same um, sandwich. I'm gonna lay it this way because I want the flower images to be going up and down the dress, not side to side. Put on my, stop, my top standard cutting pad. Run it through. And there's my dress. Isn't that cute? I just see so much potential for these framelits. It's unbelievable. All right, so I've got my stand and I'm going to put on my dress in a second. And so then I thought, well, if I lay it on my card, it'll kind of disappear because the very vanilla in the dress is drawn out to the very vanilla in the background. So then I had another idea. I'm gonna show you another new set of framelits that you can purchase that make great backgrounds for cards. They're the Ovals Collection Framelits. Look at how many ovals you get in this pack. That is just amazing. Think about layering. Think about scrapbooking. You could, if you're a scrapbooker, you could put this on a photo and die cut it out. I'm gonna use the second largest oval and I have a piece of um, summer starfruit cardstock that I'm going to die cut using the oval. It's the same sandwich combination, top standard cutting pad, go and there is my oval 
And so now I'm going to put my card together. Now if I wanted to, I could take one of my embossing folders and run it through, um, run the oval through, but I think I'm not. I'm just going to leave it as is. And I'm going to bring in my snail adhesive, adhere my oval to my card front. Then I'm going to bring in my dress form and I'm going to use some snail adhesive to adhere the dress form to the front of the card, right on the oval, like so. And then you know me and my Stampin' Dimensionals. I had them out here, here they are. I'm going to flip my dress over. I'm going to put one Stampin' Dimensional at the bottom and one up towards the top. Remember, push your thumbnail in and that lifts up the corners or the edges. And then I'm going to adhere the dress on like that. Isn't that cute? Okay, now it's ready for a phrase. So, yes, I have a brand new stamp set to share with you as well. It is called That's the Ticket. And when I saw this stamp set in the spring catalog, as demonstrators, we're allowed to purchase a month earlier so that we can make a lot of project ideas to share with our customers and have a lot of fun playing with the products first. I love this stamp set. It was on my very first order. There's a little happy birthday phrase in it. So I thought this would make a really pretty phrase to go with my dress. And I'll be back in a moment because I forgot to get my clear block. I ran over and got clear block B. I'm going to adhere temporarily my stamp to it. Ink it up with Midnight Muse. That's one of the colors in the designer series paper, so I want everything to be coordinated. Stamp it down. Doesn't matter that I stamped it upside down because I'm going to use the Ticket Duo Punch to punch out the happy birthday phrase. And then I am going to, I think I'll adhere it right there. So I'm going to bring in a Stampin' Dimensional. I'm going to just take one and I'm going to put it on the edge of the ticket that will be on the Summer Star Fruit. And then I'm going to use my snail for the other side because it's going to already be lifted up and I can adhere that to the dress. Whoops. And there we go. A really cute birthday card for somebody special in your life that's a lot of fun to create. If you have young kids at home, imagine what fun you'll have with the dressed up frameless framelits. There's a coordinating stamp set that goes with the dressed up framelits. And then there's another Big Shot product that I'll be back in a future week to show you how to use to make a pop-up card. For a complete listing of the supplies and the measurements for the cardstock layers, please hop on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While on my blog, don't forget to subscribe to my customer newsletters. I have a, another January newsletter coming out next week. You can place an order for the products that I use to make this cute card. You can ask me a question, or you can look at all the other sample ideas I have on my blog. I'm Terry. I am Nuts About Stamping. See you next time. Bye for now.